Hey everybody, Luke Nutzman here. I um, I want to, oh it's so dark. I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, so I'm getting all these PlayStation games, these PlayStation 2 games built up. There they are. There they are right there. That's the stack. That's not good. It's not good to stack them like that. Not, not for, not for very long because of course this one down here, poor Star Wars Bounty Hunter, is getting very pressured by, by all these other, all these other games. So I wanted to, like, get a shelf, get some sort of shelf. Um, at first I was thinking a regular shelf, but then I remembered something I saw on the internet not, not too long ago. And, um, so I want to try building that. And I did. And it's working. Check this out. Okay, so, the first thing you do is, you get yourself a bracket like this. It probably doesn't need to be this heavy duty, but this is the best I could find. So, hang on, let me just, I'll just, I'll just frame the shot there. Where is it? There it is. Okay. All right, yeah, it looks good. All right, <clears throat> so I got this bracket. I screwed it in. This is really heavy duty. I swear to God, I could almost stand on this thing. Of course, you have to screw it into a stud. That's, that's always the best way to go about doing it. Um, in fact, I don't even have a stud finder. I just use these, these neodymium magnets, and um, there you go. Oh, there must be a stud there, because look. Obviously, there's some sort of metal here, probably a nail, and that's where the drywall got nailed into the uh, into the stud. So, I found me a stud, got this bad boy in. That's step one. Step two, you get yourself a game that you don't give a crap about. In this case, I <laughs> in this case it's um it's EverQuest Online Adventures. Anybody remember that game? I actually played it religiously for a long time, but uh, anyhow, then I needed to cut a little hole little hole out here so it'll fit in. So this is the game I don't care about. You do have to ruin it a little bit, but that's fine. And then it can just kind of slide in. There we go. That is the base of our shelf. Next, you add games to it. I just start taking games here. There we go. It's looking good. That one's actually upside down. That should be the other way, shouldn't it? Hang on, hang on. We want it to look nice, like it's actually part of the collection. Like I actually give a crap about it. Okay, that looks stable enough. Now, ideally, you'd want to have maybe another piece of metal coming out here, going perpendicular to this to add stability, but this is fine for now, I think. Seems to be holding up pretty well. So, you take that, put it on there, and look at that. I mean, it's awesome. It just, uh, yeah, it just looks like it's floating or something. It's great. Look at that. It's awesome. So, there you go. That is the most minimalistic shelf you could possibly make. I've seen it done with books. I've never seen it done with PS2 games before, but it's basically the same principle. With a book, you'd have to cut some pages out and uh, glue pieces together to make the shelf. So you, again, you'd have to ruin a book, but you know there are plenty of crappy books at the library that nobody wants that you can that you can uh, ruin. So anyhow, there you go. Yes, beautiful floating. PS2 shelving unit. Huzzah. Alright. See you next time. Luke out.